Hey guys, out soul winning tonight, and we've got about at least two 12 year olds, um, no, 11 year olds who were brothers who asked Christ into their heart and are saved. Actually, one brother um, and one friend. So, one was a brother of a brother and then a friend. So, um, I was with a lady tonight, and she is um, pretty thorough with her with her scripture. I mean, she she can memorize it pretty well and she opens up her Bible and she makes sure someone understands pretty well what they're believing. And we had one boy, another boy who definitely under conviction, no doubt about it. We both saw it. Um, and you know, he, I said, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to accept Christ right now if you're embarrassed because your friends are right there. And you know, I, that was kind of bothering him, but we left him with, make sure tonight you kind of get right with God. Make sure you do this in your own time if you want to. There's no pressure. There's no stalking kids. They have a choice. And at that age, they're about at that age of really understanding um, some of the stuff in scripture. And, you know, we explained it to them. And so I am rejoicing because the angels are rejoicing in heaven over the two other ones and him, which I, I will follow up with him. And see what his decision was and um then i gave them all popsicles after and said you know i'm really proud of you guys and they were very respectful when um this lady was talking to them and then the two other ones after she was done talking um i just was like hey you know getting right in there hey you guys want to accept christ too and they right away yeah yeah i mean i didn't even have to really do anything they were ready. They had heard her, and the little bit I threw in, something happened, and they were accepting Christ. So right before this, we looked in Romans how Paul, the apostle, and I like what this pastor, this different pastor was talking about that I met tonight. Um, he was talking about how Paul went around, and he was basically boasting of, you know, in Romans of how much he preached. He preached the gospel everywhere he went. And, you know, it really is the power of the Holy Spirit that indwells us, that reaches people. And without that, you know, the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit, you're just going through the motions. You're not really going to reach people as well. It's just, you know, technical stuff. And um, that's not what we want. We want the hearts. We want to be able to see people saved. And, you know, I believe the time is really short especially after I just saw on the news today that Elizabeth Warren wants to shut down the pregnancy centers. And I am still shocked at this unbelievable, wicked, demonic woman who wants to shut them down. And she doesn't want, she doesn't want mothers to get help. She doesn't want women to have the help they need and the support and where I just started a commitment to being part of the pregnancy center and I have worked at another one I will I have shared very strongly on social media when this came out I will not be intimidated I will not compromise helping other women and if that means underground that's what will happen because this is not going to happen we're out there to help women mothers and babies be saved period